today on this episode of Riverside Wooden Farm. We have a mystery. We have this log here. Someone dropped off with a large load of trees. I have no clue what it is. Ten feet long, gray in color, has a little bit of dirt on it. No bark. Species unidentified. Not a very big specimen. All I can tell you, it's a tree. It has a 15 inch butt. Just not a real big butt. And a 12 inch top. We gather in clues and together we're gonna crack this case. Let's get this thing sawed up and figure out what we have. <laughs> oh, I couldn't resist myself. Anyway, thank y'all for stopping by and checking us out here. We hadn't done a mystery log video in a long time. And as you could see in that intro, this log was dropped off with a big pile of pines and other species of trees that had oak and pine in those species that some of them had rotted and, and went away and had to burn them. They weren't even feasible to cut. But this one right here seemed pretty resilient. Um, besides a little cracking on the outside of the, of the tree, there's really no sign of rot anywhere. The tree not having any bark on it. Uh, and I can't really smell what it is. I, I don't really know what it is. But it's been sitting in my pile a month or two. And I, I need to start knocking that pile down. So, before this monsoon storm comes down here in Mississippi, it's been pretty rough. It's 72 degrees in the middle of January. As you can see, I'm in a short sleeve shirt and sweating. But hey, that's what it's like living in the subtropics. It is what it is. But let's just get this meal fired up, get this log slabbed out, and figure out what this thing is. Just notice too, this butt's even got a hole in it. Doo -doo. Okay, from the from the first pass, and I got a whiff of this tree. I know exactly what it is. I'm not going to reveal it until the end of the video. But a clue, it is used in medicines uh, to treat muscle pain, congestion, infection, and things like that. That's one tip to solve the mystery. All right, we were going to slab this wood out. And I got scatterbrain and made two square edges. So what we'll do, we'll still cut it an inch and a half thick and I'll have one flat edge. Be perfect for shelves or something small like that. Still can make cutting boards and charcuterie boards and other things. To give you a look at the wood, maybe it'll give you another clue It is a hardwood.
another clue. It's native to Eastern Asia. It was brought over in to Florida in 1875. All right, we're gonna give y'all a little splash of water. Y'all can see what they look like. A little heart rot, not too bad though, a couple spots. Last and final clue. This tree is in the laurel family. Okay. It is the camphor, camphor tree. When you're cutting this tree on the mill, everywhere around the mill and downwind of the mill, smells like you opened up a can of Vicks Vapor Rub and stuck your nose in it. That's exactly what it smells like. That's the oils they use in, in that medication. I love cutting it. Haven't sold a whole lot of it, but as you can see, it's very pretty wood. It's nice stuff. Get you down here closer to it so you can really see this stuff. Get my shadow out of the way. Very nice stuff. I, I, I like it. I believe uh, they use it in cutting boards, furniture, things like that. Very stable from what I've read. I've never, never used it on anything very stable wood so they say well shoot that was fun we got that mystery figured out little clues here and there got it slabbed up taken care of out the wood pile the log might have been a mystery but one thing that ain't and it's a serious note is jesus christ died for you died for us all the only way to get to heavens through him just like it mentions the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 jesus said i am the way the truth and the light no man cometh unto the father except by me and making that decision is way more urgent than you may think you never promise tomorrow you never promise five minutes from now you never know and once it's done, it's too late. Don't hesitate. With that being said, hope y'all had fun. And remember, y'all come back, you hear?